which kind of problems generally females facing during periods belly bloating heaviness around the belly pelvis pain thigh pain lower back ache at same time lots of mood swings anger issues feeling lethargic energy less many more each and every woman has different symptoms during periods so what we found easy way let's take a medicine medicine is not a healthy way during periods so when we have a healthy way then why we are choosing the medicine so today's session is all about how we can get fit during periods so let's get started okay let's talk about first lower back ache so let's start with the first asana this asana will really helpful in periods to tackle the lower back ache at same time or it stretch the entire glutes lower back and give the very nice stretching to entire thigh so this asana will really help you to get right from lower back ache and entire thigh massaging effect so next go back side of your mat open your legs and open your leg just front of your body feet together take support from back if you are not feeling easy then you can fix the pillow under your hips while you're doing this dandasana now we are going to do the simple baby hugs so just fold your left leg knee and grab this leg as a baby use your right hand hug your left leg use the left hand interlock your fingers with each other lift your spine up and try to swing your leg a little by the side this will help you to stretch the lower back ache hip muscles at same time giving a very massaging effect to the entire leg move it at least 10 times slow easy relax your belly muscles move at least 10 times other leg should be straight hold feel the stretch towards your hip muscle and towards your back as well press hug hold and stretch your right feet towards your upper body stay here for five breaths five four three two and one release your leg straight chest front of your body let's do the same asana baby hugs with the other leg use your right hand and use your left hand hug your legs with each other and try to swing your leg try to move your leg by the side if possible for you not too much but very lightly feel the stretching to your hip and back this asana will really help you to increase the blood circulation around your lower abdominal muscles this asana will help you to release the lower belly muscles as well keep moving swing now stretch your leg maximum close to your belly if possible for you stay here and hold and keep stretching your left feet towards your upper body hold stay if it's getting hard then you can simply stay here like that it's a variation part open your leg take support from the back very easy and simple asan next we are going to do the baddha kona asan and we are going to do with a variation okay so try to do the easy postures during periods may we are not feeling too much comfortable if we are choosing the advanced asana so never do advanced asanas or deep backward bending during periods or deep forward fold during periods try to choose easy simple basic asanas which will really help you to deal with all those problems like mood swings lower back ache anger issues many more other things so let's move ahead to the second asana so fold your be here at same position keep taking support from the back finger pointing outside simply fold your both like knees feet together open your knees by the side and your heel should be far from your inner thighs drop them down stay here and drop your neck back stay here for few seconds hold it will help you to give the nice stretching to your inner thighs and improve the blood circulation around your belly which release the cramps if someone has a, a lot of pain around the belly lower belly around the pelvis and towards the inner thighs these are normal problems during periods so this supported baddha kona asana with variation will really help you to make the entire belly in knees so fingers pointing outside drop your neck back keep let your knees dropping down to the mat stay here for 10 breaths relax your mind
gently come back. Okay, let's do the second variation of Baddha Konasan because Baddha Konasan and some light stretching will really help us to deal with all these stressful problems during periods. So let's do the supported Baddha Konasan. If you have block, if you don't have block even it's fine, you can use pillow. If you have pillow around you, just grab the pillow and you can do the supported Baddha Konasan. So open your feet and join your feet with each other, drop your knees down, fix your block over your feet like that or you can fix the pillow over your feet. Now what you can do, shift your upper body back. If you're not feeling comfortable with a single pillow, then you can use a double pillow even, okay? So fix the pillow or, or otherwise a block over your feet. Drop your head on the block or pillow. Lose your hands by the side. Stay here for a few seconds and feel the proper stretching to your hips, back, inner thighs and your lower belly. The supported Badkonasana will really helpful to make the entire body in ease and help us to control the mood swings. Hold and stay here for a few seconds or according to your capacity. Breathe five deep breaths. Gently come up, release these blocks. This asana will really, really help you to make the entire lower back, your thighs, your pelvis in ease during periods. So try these asanas, you can do with support and do the baby hugs also. These all asanas are too easy at same time. They are so effective in periods. Let's go to the Shashankasan. As I told you the benefits of Shashankasana, the Shankasana is really very helpful to give the massaging effect to the entire hips, back, inner thighs, make the entire belly and knees at the same time. Uh, belly bloating is very normal during periods. Uh, we are not feeling so much comfortable or we are feeling very, very deep unease or itching around the belly during periods. So this asana will help you to give the massaging effect to the entire belly, inner thighs and back. How to do this asana? Go back side of your mat, open your knees. I will tell you with a variation, no need to go the deep stretching or directly to the uh, Shashankasana. Okay, so you can use the pillow. Fix the two pillows in front of you, the one close to your thighs and the second one a little far from your body. Pillows are very common, you can find easily. So bring your arms up, make your belly and knees, your back and knees, slowly go down, loose and drop you all the weight on the pillow. Turn your neck to the right side, stay here and feel the proper stretching to the back, hips, inner thighs and belly. Hold here at least for 10 seconds if you can. If you don't have pillow, then you can do without using any kind of prop. So simply open your fingers and simply go to the mat and try to touch your chest on the mat. Feel the proper stretching to your back, hips, inner thighs and feel the proper light stretching to your belly which release the cramps. Stay here at least for 5 seconds. Now gently come back, knees together. Okay, next we are going to do the simple rabbit pose. How rabbit pose helps in periods. In periods, we are feeling belly bloating at the same time we suffer from gastric issues during periods. So this pose will help you to release the gastric issues during periods. So how to do this baby rabbit pose? Knees together, be here at the center side of the mat. Now simply lose your upper body on the mat and lose your both hands by the side of your thighs. Go down and let the belly press with your thighs. It will really help you to release the gas from your belly. At the same time, decrease the belly bloating as well. Simply go down, lose your shoulders, touch your head on the mat, lose your shoulders, relax here, relax and feel the proper stretching to your entire back, hips. This asana will really help you to release gas at the same time, makes you feel light during periods. During periods, we feel a lot of heaviness around belly. 
this asana will really help you to get right from this heaviness at same time help us to control the mood swings as well help us to make us feel happy or a lighter gently come back hands here on your thighs spine up right next we are going to do the vajrasana vajrasana how vajrasana helps in periods vajrasana is one of the asan which you can do before food or after food at same time this asan is a miracle asan in a periods also if you are doing vajrasan vajrasan is one of the asan which increase the blood circulation around the belly and belly is a main part in periods we are feeling lots of issues related belly that we are feeling generally too much unease around the belly pain in lower belly belly bloating pelvis ache thigh ache these area just close to the belly if you have healthy blood circulation around the belly you easily can deal with all these problems so vajrasana will really help you to increase the blood circulation around your ovaries okay at same time it help us to increase the blood circulation to the reproductive system okay so simply fold your knees like that let me show you once again from the back you need to fix your left toe over the right one like that now your heels pointing outside fix your hips between your heels never sit on your heels spine up right fix your both hands on your thighs from front side okay so sit down close your eyes fix your both hands on your thighs hold at least for 15 seconds in a vajrasana try to relax down your mind relax down your body if you can do the belly breathing belly breathing will really help you to release the cramps and makes you feel light and better with your belly inhale belly little out exhale do not press your belly too much in simply in, inside or lightly inside and keep reciting mentally that i am fit i am feeling light i am feeling positive i know it's getting quite hard to recite all these things during periods but we can do it try to make yourself seated in same position or vajrasana position at least for 10 to 15 seconds if you are not feeling good or unease if you feeling any kind of unease in vajrasana then you can use a pillow or bolster and fix it just uh, behind your uh, thighs and simply sit make yourself seated on the, that pillow which makes you feel more lighter okay next uh, one more important thing never do inversions in periods it may cause problem so never do deep backward bending deep twisting heavy workout too much jumping periods because most of the time people say you can do but we know our body we are not we don't have that much energy in periods so try to do something light stretching during periods instead of doing heavy workouts try to do heavy workouts and for these 3 to 4 days try to convert your all energies or or everything to the light stretching okay so let's move ahead now next we are going to do the simple janu shri asana this janu shri asana will really makes you feel good happier lighter at same time makes you feel to control the mood swings because most of the time we have mood swings we are not in that mood to talk someone we are not in that mood to do something we are not in that mood to go to the office or stay at home we are getting a lots of anger issues during periods so this asana the shanu shri asana will help you to deal with these mood swings during periods so simply go back side of your mat or towards the right side now straight your both leg just front of your body fold your left leg and fix it by the side of your right thigh if you have pillow it would be good fix your pillow over your feet okay so simply fix the two pillows close to your belly now no need to lift the arms up no need to make our body too much active simply lie down on the pillow if you can grab the feet it would be good touch your forehead on your pillow stay here hold for few seconds if you're not feeling fine if you're feeling you can't touch the feet even it's fine simply fix your elbows on the pillow 
stay here try to make yourself connected to you and let your body muscles get relaxed because in periods we are getting lots of muscle engagement around the belly or to the lower organs of the body try to make them in ease while you doing this chanu shriyasana okay so stay here if you don't have pillow or bolster then you can directly do this asana simply grab your knee make yourself a little to the forward pole not too much stay here for a few seconds if you can grab or touch the feet stay here hold and gently come back repeat the same asana with the other side hold your right leg knee and fix it close to your left thigh bring your arms up exhale lean your body down if you're not feeling fine as i show you the demo you can use a pillow or bolster stay here at least for 10 seconds feel the proper stretching to your left leg behind your left leg thigh just behind your knee calf at same time it give the very deep massaging effect to the belly and back inhale and exhale your hands by the side open your legs cross them with each other now we are going to the very very good asan which will really help you to decrease the cramps and give the light sweet stretching to your entire belly so next we are going to do the fish pose and this fish pose will really help you to give the massaging effect to the entire belly because this is the main part during periods we have unease around the belly pelvis or mainly to the back so this asan will help us to make the belly pelvis and back unease what is good than this now simply turn towards your right side and go left side of your mat and simply lie down on your mat i oh, love your belly love yourself now what do you need to do legs should be unfolded more no need to straight them relax your belly relax the muscles no need to engage them no need to engage your belly no need to engage your back how we can do the simple fish pose fix your both hands under your back just to make the back and knees okay now lift your chest up keep taking support through your elbows if you need support then lift your uh, head up and try to touch the crown head to the mat if possible for you okay so lift up stay here and feel the stretching a light stretching to your belly hold relax and hold at least for 10 seconds in the light stretching around your belly your chest this asan will help you to release the pain from back or even from your pelvis and lower belly release your head fix your hands on your belly let's do the supta baddha konasan join your feet with each other simply drop your knees down by the side and your heel should be little far from your body so that you can give the proper massaging effect to the lower belly inner thighs and the pelvis area hand should be on your belly no need to fluctuate your breathing relax your entire belly no need to engage your thighs or your belly let it relax and let it normal the sasana will increase the blood circulation around the reproductive system and makes the entire body in ease release the pain from the body at same time it help us to get right from mood swings so make her feel happy stay here hold for 10 seconds or according to your capacity now knees together ah let's do the other asan next we are going to do the pavan mukta asan may you all are familiar with the pavan mukta asan if you heard first time then this asan is a amazing asan in periods to deal with the belly bloating at same time uh, we can deal with the gastric problems because we are suffering from the gastric issues during periods so this asan will help us to make the entire belly in ease So how to do this asan your back should be on the ground hug your left leg and do with a single leg no need to do with the both leg keep pressing your uh, left leg close to your belly and press it the maximum as much as you can hold here at least for 10 seconds and stretch your uh, left feet outside it pointing outside hold breathe and relax
change your leg do the same 10 seconds with the right leg finger should be interlock support and hug yourself love yourself stretch your right toes outside you pressing your legs to your belly and relax let's try with the both legs if possible fold your left leg and then your right leg try to hug your knees completely press them stretch your toes outside you can let them unnormal relax your mind this asana is really very good to make the belly happy at same time help us to control the mood swings also stay here at least for 10 seconds and gently release your leg now gently take left turn and sit next we are going to use a pillow that means you can use the ball sir up you have if you don't have even it's fine i will tell you the variation okay so next we are going to do the supta vajrasan supta vajrasan is one of the asan which makes you feel really light with the lower portion of the body at same time this asan gives a very good massaging effect to the upper body as well so how we can make this asan easier during period so let me tell you so go left side of your mat sit in vajrasan If you have pillow, just fix two pillows just behind your back. Now, what you need to do? Simply draw a gap between your legs, and that should be a hip width gap between your both legs. Simply fix your hips at the edge of your pillow, and then simply lie down if possible for you. Let me shift it. Now, sit at the edge of the. pillow and lie down on your pillow relax your head and fix your both hands on your belly feel the proper stretching to your entire belly feel the proper stretching to your thigh at same time this asan will help you to relax the back as well stay here at least for 10 seconds or 10 breaths or you can loose the hands in dhyana mudra by the side bring your entire focus on your belly hold and feel stretching it makes you feel lighter happier control the mood swings and release the cramps release the pain make the belly in ease now simply take a pot and come back Okay let me tell you if you don't have pillow or bolster then how you can do you can do without this simply go uh, same stand on your knees hip width gap between your both leg sit on the mat or floor if possible for you and fix your both elbows back and simply hold here that's it no need to lie down drop your neck back stay here at least for 10 breaths and gently come back okay let's do the other asan and this asan is a really very helpful to release the cramps and pain in periods so next we are going to do the simple bhunamanasan and this bhunamanasan is a really very helpful to increase the blood circulation to the belly release the cramps release the pain so how to do this asan simply open your legs on the mat and widen them properly no need to give the too much stress to the mind and body relax make your mind and body in ease now if you have pillow just fix the pillow front of your body or between of your thighs and make this pillow close to your inner thighs now simply lie down on the pillow if possible for you hug your pillow and stay here and feel the proper stretching to your butt inner thighs and back if it's getting hard to do it like that then simply try to touch your shin otherwise you can grab the knees as well like that the main purpose to give the stretching to the hips inner thighs pelvis and belly that's it stay here hold at least for 10 breaths Gently open your eyes and come back. 
Let's do the last and final asana. Simply make yourself seated in the Sukhasana. We are going to do the Sukhasana rolls and these Sukhasana rolls will make you feel easy and light at same time. Makes you feel lighter from around your belly region or from the central part of your body. So simply cross your legs. You can do all these asanas on the bed as well. Okay, because most of the time you are not in that mood to let's uh, open the mat and let's do it on the mat. No need. You can do it on the bed as well. So use your both hands, fix your hands on your knees. Now start rolling your spine front, side and back. Do it a 10 time clockwise and 10 time anti-clockwise. It's give the massaging effect to the entire belly and back. Roll and feel this massaging effect around the belly, side and back. If you are feeling discounts are too much, it's getting hard to do 10 times, then you can do 5 times also or according to your capacity. Okay? Move and swing. Feel your belly. Let it light. Let it stretch. Ah, come to the center. Simply join your palms. Next, we are going to do the Om chanting and this Om chanting will really help you to decrease the stress level, uh, help us to control the mood swings during periods. So simply join your palms with each other and press all the points of your palm and fix your hands close to your heart. Elbows relax, your shoulders relax. Inhale and do the three times Om chanting with me. On this note, my name is Poli Parihar and you are learning with Siddhi Yoga. Hope this video makes sense and try all these asanas and don't forget to share your experience with me. Thank you so much.